Thank you for watching On Call for All Kids. Today we're talking about healthy eating in the new year. We'll talk about tips on getting your kids involved with family meals, how to get your kiddos to eat vegetables, and resources to check out if cooking isn't necessarily your specialty. I'm joined by Anita Jimenez. She is the Culinary Nutrition Program Coordinator at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. So happy to see you, Anita. Happy New Year to you. Same to you, Ashley. Great to be here. So a lot of times families really want to get off to a good start in the new year, and that includes eating healthier potentially. Let's first start off with one of the hardest things for parents is getting kids to eat those vegetables. How can we do it, Anita? Well, you know, at All Kids in the Kitchen in our cooking classes, we um, I always tell the parents that we eat with our eyes and our scent, our noses, all our senses before we even taste anything. So it's really important that we make sure that our food looks appealing and that we, if we're cooking in the house, we have those aromas and then the kids are gonna be more likely to taste it. So as parents, we need to make sure that we're not imparting our own food prejudices on our kids. Because a lot of kids that we think of as picky eaters really just haven't been exposed or encouraged to try unfamiliar foods. So it helps if parents and children can go on this culinary journey together and learn by making the foods together because vegetables, in fact, are absolutely delicious when they're cooked the right way. We also know through research that when children are involved in the cooking process, they're more likely to actually try the foods and enjoy them. Yeah, and it can be a lot of fun. So Anita, what advice do you give parents on how to get our kids involved with the cooking? You know, even very young children can be involved in the cooking process. Things like greens and herbs can be torn instead of chopped. Little kids like to squeeze lemons and limes. And of course, every kid loves to push buttons on a machine. So if you have something that goes in the blender or a food processor, they can be responsible for pushing those buttons. We also encourage parents to let kids use plastic knives, like starting about four or five and cutting softer vegetables like zucchini or avocado or fruits like mangoes and bananas, using that, that they can learn some skills before they go on to sharper tools. And then of course, older kids, tweens and teens are capable of cutting harder vegetables and also using tools like graters and peelers and slicers that are a little bit sharp when we cook the kids in the schools a lot, I have like middle and high school students and they don't even know how to use a can opener. So it's super important for us to be teaching them how to use these tools for their future cooking experiences. And of course, you know, all kids love to measure. So using measuring spoons and measuring cups and encourages with their math skills. So cooking together is also a really good way for parents and their kids to have some quality time together that does not involve being in front of a screen. So how about once you're cooking and, you know, everyone kind of has their own favorite food, how do we balance this out and make sure everybody is happy with all the different foods they like? You know, I think that this trend in bowl foods is really great to address different um, likes and dislikes. So um, I have in front of me here, this is a, um, a typical, maybe a Mexican type bowl. Uh, bowl. Um, you wanna start with a whole grain. So I have whole grain brown rice here, a good lean protein or a plant-based protein like beans and chicken, and then just a variety of vegetables. Kids generally like corn, just some diced squash with garlic. And then of course the fajita style peppers and onions are great. Sliced avocado where you can get a container of guacamole. I always use a non-fat Greek yogurt instead of sour cream and nobody knows the difference. So Ashley, how about today if I just show you how to make a really delicious, very easy red salsa. That would be wonderful. This all looks delicious. Would love to see it. Okay. So um, this is a blender salsa that I always have in my refrigerator. So we've got some um, whole peeled tomatoes, a can of whole peeled tomatoes, and I've uh, kind of drained the juice out of them. We're going to put those in. There's a little juice. Um, I'm going to use about a half a bunch of cilantro, and this you can actually just put it in all at once with the stems and everything because the stems are so tender that they just blend up. I have about a half a cup of onion just coarsely chopped and one large jalapeno. I've taken the seeds out of it. And then our last ingredient is just a half a teaspoon of salt. 
There's some salt in the tomato, so we don't have to put too much salt in. Okay, so I'm gonna put the top on that, put it on here. Anita, that looks so simple and it looks so delicious. It is, and it's also incredibly nutritious. You saw what went into it. It's just some herbs, onions, chili, and tomatoes, okay? So that's a great sauce to put over the top. And also, you know, for lots of other things, <laughs> for eggs, any, anything you want to put salsa on, you can use this. Well, I really love this idea of a bowl dinner. I now know what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. So thank you for this advice for our family to have that variety and pick and choose what we want to put in it. Lastly, though, what if parents just don't really know how to cook? They don't know where to start, you know, heading on this journey with their family. Well, we have lots of classes that we offer um, to help them on this journey. We have, and they're all free. Right now we're doing them virtual from this studio. Um, so you, you just go to our website and search for All Kids in the Kitchen. You'll find uh, how to register. Perfect, Anina. Thanks so much for joining us. It was so great to see you. And the food looks delicious. Thanks for giving us a dinner idea for tonight and this week. Great. Thanks for the opportunity, Ashley. And thank you for joining us. We hope you learn a lot of new tips and tricks in the kitchen to cook healthier with your family. Remember, you can visit our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org, and you can search All Kids in the Kitchen to sign up for those cooking classes with Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. We'll see you next week.